So we're on to this GLib, so let's just read this again now. It's saying some mom type related functionality in GIO requires these two packages. And they're also needed for some tests. That's about a patch if upgrading from previous version. Okay, as mentioned, is libtool archive um, script that we ran. We could run that now, actually, just to uh, keep things nice and tidy. Um, can't remember what it's called now. Oh yeah, remove LA files, remove LA files. So you can see it's already removed some stuff there. Uh, security patch. Test suite requires desktop file to utils for some tests. However, desktop file with utils require glib in order to compile. Therefore, you must first install glib and then run the test suite. Okay, so that's how they do it. So they assume the tests will pass and then to run the test suite. If libxlt is installed, which we have got it installed, the following command may indicate several, about 33 hours to start with error and no ID for constraint link end when installing man pages. These are harmless. Okay, so I think we can go ahead with installing this one. So this is glib. Okay, so I need to find out what section this is in. Does it actually say? No, it didn't tell me how to search in the help at the bottom. It just says forward slash is search. I just press space. No, that's just behaving as normal. I'll have to find out how that's done if it's possible. I imagine it should be. So this is chapter nine. Lib. There it is there at the bottom two two dot six two dot four. Okay, so I've got a few downloads here. So let's get the first one. Oh, now it says view temporary files if that is another text file which yeah this may maybe links is not actually identifying what is a file and, and what isn't so I'm going to test this now see if it can be extracted yeah, I can interesting but again I did the D there to download it so that seems to be what makes it a successful download I've got two patches now Required patch. And an optional patch. Let's see what the optional patch does. Okay, we can add that. It's, it's optional. We can add that. Might be something useful. So I'll take that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we're in the directory that's been extracted, is to um, apply the optional patch. and then the security patch to 
fix the vulnerability. So it's the installation here. Let's just check commands. So it looks like the only one we can add is the ddoc equals true to create and install the API documentation. So I think, oh no, we can't do that at the moment because we need GTK doc. And I think that was one of the, oh no, that's, oh yes, that's right. We've got this queue to build, haven't we? Yeah. So perhaps we should do this next. Um, to build the API documentation because I don't normally build it but I'm building it just um, for demonstration purposes so let's get that up let's go back on this one and remove glib and we'll start again on that one in a while so gtk doc that's right we've got this here haven't we so we'll get rid of this tab here Pigments is a dependency, obviously, and FOP is a dependency, glib, and which. So we've got which, we've got LXML installed. So it looks like because we haven't installed glib yet. And glib requires gtk doc. We'll have to um, reinstall gtk doc after we've installed glib because it doesn't say that it's a runtime requirement like it does say for pigments. Um, all this ITS tool we need as well before we can build this. I'm wondering if we're going around in circles a little bit here. So let's put that there. That needs .book XML, which we've got, so we can fulfill that. Yeah, I think we'll have to do that to rebuild GTK doc after glib. So I'm going to make a note of that. Oh, we've already got rebuild glib after xwalk as well, so I may have to rebuild this several times. So I'll just make a note, glib 2.264, uh, sorry, gtk doc, isn't it? Pardon. Rebuild gtk doc. One dot three two. And because we've got the rebuild glib as well, I'm going to leave this gtk doc in even after I've reinstalled it um, in case there's anything that affects the build um, when glib is installed after xorg is installed. May, may be worrying too much about dependencies here, but um, I think if if you can ensure that you are covering every possibility, every eventuality, you're less likely to get problems with dependencies that you've built. Package A needs package B, package B needs package C, but you can't build package C for some other reason. So you build package B temporarily for package A, but package A might actually be using something or need something in package C um, via package B. So you can see that um, although you might think that package B is sufficient that it does actually indirectly need package C um, so it's it's how confident you feel about it really I guess at the end of the day as long as you're sticking to the main rule that you've got to build the required ones and and hopefully preferably the recommended then um, you should be okay so let's do this ITS tool next
Let's go back on this. ITS tool is. What is this under? Chapter 49. So again, that's at the end of the book. Chapter 49. Yeah, and we've got the dot by XML 4.5. So let's go to the bottom of this page. ITS tool 206. Let's fetch package. And extract it. And we'll copy these commands in. So we'll build it. There's no other options for the configure. That's quick, and we can install it. There's no test suite. 